there are a lot of superheroes out there, but none are like the iconic Batman. Earning millions of dollars over the years, Batman had easily become one of DC Comics' most famous and well-loved heroes. Batman was first created by the comic writer Bill Finger in the year 1939. We have gotten an exclusive interview with the totally not fake writer of Batman, Bill Finger. Bill Finger, Bill Finger, can I please have an interview? This is very important, please. Don't ignore me, please, can I have an interview? Come on, give me an interview. Come on, I really need it. I really need it. This isn't even your house. Why are you going into their mailbox? Fine! I first wrote Batman because he was the hero this city deserved. He, I wrote him because he, he was just a character that needed to be written. He was a superhero like none other. He, he was just a role model for all the little kids out there and he needed to be written. His story needed to be told. I first thought of the idea of Batman when I was walking down the street and some man with a bat came up and bashed me over the head with it. Yeah, the name just kind of stuck, Batman. I believe Batman is an inspiration for all of us. He is the Batman. And in his own way, we all have a little bit of Batman in all of us. And we try hard enough we can all be Batman. But I don't have 20 billion dollars. Well that sucks to be you. But the question still stands. What is the Batman really like? While some believe Batman is a superhero whose acts are for the good of the city he protects, others believe that Batman is a vigilante and shouldn't be allowed to fight crime. People see his acts of heroism as unlawful and they believe that he should just go away. The only way to find out the truth would be to ask Batman himself what he thinks of the matter. But that would be impossible, right? Or is it? We got an exclusive interview with the real Batman that totally isn't a guy we met in the park. Well, I became Batman because the city was rather filthy. And the garbage man, he wasn't doing his job. So, I put on a mask and I learned some kung fu to beat the crap out of some bad guys. That's why I became Batman. My goals. <clears throat> My goals are to clean up this city and provide a better future for the citizens of Gotham. There's a lot of women out there too. What would Superman have to say about that? Shut up! That was a horrible movie! I've lost a lot in my times being Batman. Here's Rachel, killed by the Joker. Oh, Rachel, I love my life. Isn't that Bruce Wayne's girlfriend? Uh, uh, <clears throat> no, no, she wasn't. What keeps me motivated, you ask? lives that I've saved in my time as Batman. It's just enough to show for why I keep playing this. <coughs> I'm a savior of innocent lives, so that's why I stay as Batman. Cause I am a knight. I save people. That's why I stay Batman. A lot of people think that <coughs> <laughs> My mom thinks I'm great. To get a better idea of what Batman is like, we caught up with Batman's partner, Robin. Robin was first introduced to the public in the year 1940, going on hundreds of adventures with the famed Bat. Robin has been considered one of Batman's most loyal and trusted companions. We managed to get a hold of Robin to ask him about his partner. He seemed more than happy to talk about his apparently really close friend. Batman, what can you say about a man like that? Everything he does is just so heroic and manly. It's just, it's an honor working with him. He's such a good guy, even though he seems 
so cold on the outside. He has such a warm heart on the inside. Someone you just, you just want to get to know. One time, Batman and I were on an adventure and Poison Ivy just put out some poison gas and it went up in Batman's mouth and into his lungs and I was, I was gonna do some CPR just to, you know, suck the poison out, but he, he wouldn't let me. So, um, he lived, but, you know, I didn't get to do CPR. And not, not that I wanted to or anything. What's my favorite part about Batman? I have to say it's his costume. His costume is just, it's so tight on him. It's just, it's really, um, yeah. How loyal I am to Batman, you ask? Well, <laughs> I would die for that man. Robin is, how would you say it? He's very loyal, I guess. Yeah, loyal, that's a good word. I mean, he cares more about my body in his whole life. Having been created 77 years ago, Batman is still one of the most popular superheroes known today, scoring a total of eight movies, 6,250 comics, and many spin-off television series. Batman is still alive and well and will be for a long time, for he is truly the hero we deserve.